Let us now examine what some of the information means on the app as it is displayed. First connect to the drone as before. All the data will appear. On the top left the first information we see is the voltage of the battery on the drone. Check the user guide for what a full battery represents. This number will obviously reduce as you use the drone itself. The next bit of information is the flight mode. The flight mode is controlled using switch E on the remote. Please check the previous videos and user guide for switch E. By moving switch E we are able to select other flight modes. From auto in the down position, position hold in the middle position and loiter in the top position. We recommend starting out on loiter only and becoming familiar with your drone. The next information is the signal strength from the remote to the drone, followed by the house which represents your takeoff point and how far you are from your home point. Then the arrow represents the arrow represents your height above the ground. The 3D and the little GPS icon that will tell you how many satellites you have. You can click that to see how many satellites you have. Next to it is the three dots which you can use to connect or disconnect or upload missions on a future video which we will show you how that's done. Here is your timer and you can click that to reset the flight timer. What's important as before is our window of information that we see here. Remember earlier on we said we can click this button on the left to display the diagnostics. I recommend checking this information under diagnostics occasionally. Just click it once and what's important on this screen right here at the bottom sort of just parts past middle where I'm clicking now you will see MAG. That stands for magnetometer and that is the interference that your drone may get from metals in the ground or near metal objects. If you had to move a metal object in front of the compass of the drone you will see that the compass reading goes up. If this goes up past the green you should consider changing your location. You can swipe this page as follows to other information which is not important. Once again when you're back at your main screen you have the arm button which you would click for starting the motors. This is the secondary method of starting the motors other than the stick control which we will show you in a, another video.